Guess what? We should have more people in Victoria. Now, of course, he wants more people in Victoria because potentially it's more votes. And yes, it may well plug some of the skill shortages. But when literally the infrastructure you have in place is not good enough for the existing population, increasing that population by hundreds of thousands of people, and remember, 90% of all people when they come to Australia come to Sydney or come to Melbourne. They go to the suburbs that, by their own local mayor's admissions, are already tight and full. That if you keep tipping more people into that, that's not more services that get funded. It's just more demand for the same services that are already 10, 15 and 20 years behind the eight ball. Well, this is what he had to say to that uh, Italian language news service in Melbourne about why we need more people in a state that currently doesn't have enough ambulances to take care of those who already live there. I've always been a very strong supporter of more skilled migration and uh, uh, the, new, the new federal government have taken some important steps towards increasing the amount of um, permanent skilled migration, but I think they might need to do more again. Remember, the plan is 900,000 extra people in Australia, and they may well be skilled as everything from computer programmers to minors to surgeons and nurses themselves. But skilled workers also get involved in car accidents. Skilled workers also get involved in household injuries. Skilled workers also have heart attacks, and they all need access to a health system that is already clogging. Meantime, of course, there's a question of where the hell are they going to live? And I know that this is an ugly, difficult and uncomfortable question. And while I'm pro-immigration like anyone else, because that is the modern story of Australia, we all come from somewhere, the reality is that there's not enough homes in Victoria for the existing population, let alone, let's imagine half, of the 900,000 that'll be coming here in the next couple of years. Because, you see, Victoria needs to build about 15,000 more homes than it typically does in any one year to actually deal with population growth and, of course, the issues of housing affordability. According to the Housing Industry Association's chief economist, Victoria typically builds between 60 and 70,000 dwellings a year, and then in 2024 we expect that to fall to just 52,000 homes due to the rising costs of construction and interest rates. So maybe Daniel Andrews knows something that we don't. Maybe he's been keeping an eye on a construction of a toilet block that's currently taking place in Dubbo. Now, when we say build, they're not building it, they're printing it. Literally, a 3D printer is being used right now. This is very cool. This might be the future of housing. Rather than bricks and mortar, we'll, we'll be printing homes. But this is literally a toot block, which is being printed as we speak. Not with hemp, by the way. Evil plastics, but shh, don't tell anyone.